Hello YouTubers, it's Chris here, and in this video we're going to continue talking about how to connect an iOS app to a MySQL database. Now if you're a regular, you might notice that I sound a little different in this video, and that's just because I'm getting over a minor cold. I hope that doesn't distract you too much, I didn't want to wait too long before releasing the next part in this series. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Take a look at this diagram here. If you've done any sort of web development, you might be used to having your web app connect directly to the database. However, in mobile development, we're going to need to build a set of web services uh, that sit in between the client mobile app and the database. And if you're not familiar with what a web service is, you can think of it as a chunk of code that sits on a server uh, that you can hit a URL and have it execute that code. So essentially what we're going to do is have our iOS app hit these web services. And in the case of say saving data, it would pass that data to the web service and then the web service would uh, take that data and insert it into our database. And for retrieving data, uh, the iOS app would again hit the web service, make a request. The web service would then run the retrieval code to grab the data from the database and return it uh, back to the iOS app. For the database part of this diagram, we've chosen to use MySQL. So as you can see in this three-part diagram, you can choose any sort of tech stack that you want. For the client app, you know, we're working with iOS, but you could have an Android app also hit these web services that you're going to build. And for the database, you can choose any sort of database you want. In this case, we are choosing MySQL. And for the web service, there's tons of different technologies you can use. We're going to use PHP. Uh, you could use, you know, Node.js or... Um, Ruby or something like that. There are tons of options to choose from. I've chosen to use PHP for my web service here and that's simply because I have at least a little bit of experience with it and when I say a little bit of experience I actually mean beginner. So I've done uh, not that much web development so if you're watching this video and you are a web developer chances are you will probably have uh, best practices to point out to me in the comments. Uh, or if you've worked with other uh, web technologies, you'll probably be able to uh, build a better web service than I'll be showing you in this video. However, my purpose is to show you how to connect an iOS app to a MySQL database. And even with my limited web development experience, I will be able to create a simple demo to show you how to do just that. Okay, so this video was just to set the stage for what we're about to do here. We're going to uh, we're going to have to build the client app, right? We're going to have to uh, find some hosting and also create our PHP web service, and then we're going to have to set up our database, put in some data there, and we're going to have to set up our database user so that the web service can use that database user to access the data. I also wanted to point out that I have updated this article now, so if you want to kind of get a little preview or kind of read the article before I release the rest of the video series, just go ahead and hit up this URL. I'll put it in the description below the video. All right, so thanks for watching this part, and I'll see you in the next part of the series. Bye for now.